Ah, I can see the comments coming already in this video, just because the boat's a bayliner. Now really, I'm not going to pick on anybody because of their vessel of choice or anything that they have out there on the water, because I'll be honest, I want to see all of you out there on the water. It doesn't matter to me what vessel you choose. But welcome back guys to the greatest show on earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats, and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back at the ramp, and today we are visiting Boynton. And this crew looks like they're trying to set themselves up to make approach on the dock. But I'm not sure what's taking so long here. So we're starting to make our way in. And I'm pretty sure we've seen this boat before. It's been a little while. And I want to say the last time they were down here, they had struggles getting the boat started. But this, once again, it's been a while, so I can't remember for sure. But man, he's coming in a little hot. Oh, and the ski gets him wet too. And that threw Cap and his co-pilot here off. And now Cap's getting a little handsy on the throttle. And they got to watch out because there's rocks behind them. Oh, and we hit the dock. And Cap's got himself in some trouble. And the bow, the bow of this boat's riding low for some reason. And it's not just because there's somebody in the bow. It looked like it was already. I'm wondering if they don't have some water in this vessel. So we've got a hand on the dock. And it looks like we're going to get an assist from somebody over here as well. This really is a funky spot to be in at Boynton. Because right behind this motor, there are rocks. And when I say rocks, I mean like massive boulders. And the tide's high enough right now that you can't see them, but they're probably only submerged by maybe 12 inches. So, I mean, he can easily hit them with the, his prop or the rear outdrive or anything here from the outboard. And absolutely could do some damage to the lower unit on an outboard like this, but these guys got some lines on the dock, and it looks like they should be able to get some pulled over from here. So our Bayliner crew... Shows up in the U-Haul, which is never a good sign. And sh they are struggling to get the trailer down a little bit. So it looks like Hubby stayed on the boat, and he's let Wifey go get the trailer. And this is actually her second attempt at getting it back down. She's got a good line right here. And now we're starting to turn out of it a little bit. She's going to have to reset up one more time. It's always fun when I see these U-Hauls show up. And it's not their fault. We all started somewhere on backing up trailers. So when I say that, I mean, we all had to learn. It's just tough to learn at the ramp on a day like this. But this crew, it looks like, is going to struggle here. Somebody's come to the rescue. We've got a good Samaritan who showed up at the truck, and it looks like it's going to try and help her back this trailer down. So she's kind of talking her through it, trying to help her understand which way to turn the wheel. And I love seeing people like this down at the ramp. I'm the first one, if I see somebody really struggling, I will absolutely every time walk up and ask them if I can give them a hand. And she's doing it the right way. I've even got a video, if you search it on here, where I actually back somebody's trailer up here at Boynton. I just, after 20 minutes of watching them struggle, I couldn't do it anymore. I walked up and asked them if they would like a little help, and they actually asked me to do it. But I'd rather do what she's doing, which is let, let's let teach somebody how to do this. And she's a little bit off still on the line. She's probably going to have to pull this one forward. But we're getting somewhere and actually close to getting this back down the ramp. So we're going to straighten this out one more time, and there we go. If we can get the wheel turned a little bit, we can probably get this one rolling. And 
and they've got the wheel turned in the right direction. And she might be able to get this in from here. And it's going to be tight on the ramp. They've hit the ramp, it appears, with the front tire. But if she just straightens that front tire out, they probably can back this straight in and actually get this trailer in. And that's what she's going to do. And this is, they should be good from here. I got to give props to this lady who sat up here patiently helping this woman do this. And, I mean, that's a good Samaritan at the ramp. I, hands down. So step one complete, we have the trailer pretty much at the right depth in the water and pretty much straight away. Step two, load the boat. <laughs> Let's see how this one goes for this curve. And so we're taking a unique approach here. Cap's trying to push off from the bow. And it appears our young lady at the front may even have a bow line in her hand. So she's going to kick them off, and I'm guessing she's going to try and walk the bow over the trailer. Definitely an interesting approach. I'm, I mean, whatever approach works for you, I guess, though. But once again, the stern of this boat's now over the rocks. They've really got to be careful with that one. And they look like they're still working on their game plan. So Cap, it looks like he's trying to maybe let some more line out. And he's going to move back to the helm. Probably would have recommended this crew stick with maybe kind of that original plan. Okay, so he looks all right still. Like, I don't think we need to start the engine, guys. You probably could do this with two lines. No, Cap's going to go to the helm. Motor's not down. I'm not sure if he's trying to start it or what he's doing right here. And yes, he's starting it with the motor up. He's going to trim it down just a little bit. And it's probably he doesn't want to trim it down any more than that. He's over the rocks right now. So he doesn't have a lot of room to work with right there. But that's one of the reasons I probably would not have done this to begin with. I mean, with a stern and a bow line, you could have easily just pulled this onto the trailer. <laughs> and he's going to back it around, though. And try and get this thing on. This boat is definitely sitting weird. If you guys are watching this and you own this boat, you probably want to check your bilge pump. Because i got a feeling this boat's got water somewhere in it. And I don't see a bilge pump going off. And, I mean, she's got the line straight away in the bed of the truck now. And he's still trying to power on. And, I mean, it looks like they're going to get it done. And we've got a little success. And this crew, they've got it on the trailer. It did take a unique set of events to get it here. But they succeeded and got it done. And it looks like they'll be able to get out of here. And speaking of getting out of here, we're going to go ahead and get out of here as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where Man and Machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.